Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Doctor Who. Last time on Doctor Who, we had The Next Doctor, a bit of a red herring title. Um, but the Doctor went back to Christmas in a time that I don't remember what time it was. But uh, he went back in time to Christmas and he met someone who claimed to be the Doctor. And hijinks ensued, we realized it's not the Doctor, Cybermen, all that sort of goodness. And yeah, that was basically that. Uh, after that, I actually took a bit of a four-week break from Doctor Who so that I could watch some more classic Doctor Who. Uh, in case you missed those, uh, me and my dad, we watched Kenda, Vengeance on Veros, Remembrance of the Daleks, and Doctor Who the Movie. So now we've seen all eight Doctors, and now I've seen all every Doctor up to this point, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, we'll just be moving right along with the uh, David Tennant specials, I guess, as they're called here on Amazon. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's basically that. Um, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to this episode and previous episodes of Doctor Who, Doctor Who Classics, Sarah Jane Adventures, and Torchwood that I've reacted to. And with that being said, um, oh yeah, it's Easter, isn't it? It's not. I know it's not, uh, but I know that this uh, this special is the Easter special technically. So yeah, um, technically I'm a little late. <laughs> I'm a little late for Easter, but uh, that's all right. I I don't even know if this has anything to do with Easter. Like you know, normally the Christmas specials they all take place at Christmas. I have no idea if this even has anything to do with Easter, or if it's just that well this one came out at Easter. So yeah. Um, I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get right into this episode of Doctor Who. Here we go. Positions! Okay. What are we guarding? Wait a minute. This is Easter. That's not the Holy Grail, is it? Ooh, that's an Indiana Jones move. Sorry, lover. Oh, was that your escape car? Drive. Works for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, those are shoes. Ah, oh, he's the psychic paper. I love it. Hello, I'm the Doctor. Happy Easter. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Happy Easter! Oh boy. So it does take place at Easter. Oh, I'm a fool. Funny thing is, I don't often do Easter, I can never find it. It was at a different time, although. I remember the original. Of we course you fucking do. Oh! Christina! Christina, hold on tight. Everyone, hold on! Ooh! Uh... Whoa! It's impossible. It's Tatooine. There are three sons. Three of them. Like when Wait, all three? The oh, that, that's that's worse than Tatooine. Then, wasn't it? Ready for every emergency. Well, that's good. What the fuck? <laughs> What's your name? You can what do that? Doctor? Name, not rank. I saw you there. You had that thing, that, that machine. Did you make this happen? Oh, humans on buses always blaming me. <laughs> if you must know, I was trying right? a hole in the fabric of reality. I called it a hobby, but it was a tiny <laughs> little hole. No danger to anyone. Well, then what are we waiting for? Oh, no, don't. I'm going home, mate. So don't. Oh, fuck. Because we're going to get there. I promise. Alright. I'm going to get you home. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, but those wheels go deep. Then start digging. With what? With this. <laughs> she carries a shovel. A collapsible shovel. Try that. Might help with the seats. An axe. Thanks. She's well prepared, but she's a criminal mastermind. Oh, I 
That doesn't sound too good. You could probably fix it, right? Mind losing half the top deck. You know what's what? Sad. Oh. It's so coarse and rough, and it gets everywhere. This is Captain Arisa Magumbo. Might I say, sir, it's an honor. Saluting. Salute. <laughs> Saluting over the phone. No. <laughs> about the bus. HQ said the doctor. Doctor. I know. Yeah. We all want to meet him one day, but <laughs> we all know what that day will bring. I can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> doctor. Eh, someone's over there. There's something new. Ugh. Let's wait. I shall wait. People usually wait. You speak the language. Every language. Wow, it's impressive. Yeah, normally he has the TARDIS. We're in the city right now. Aww. The image was taken last year. Last year? But Jeez. It in one year. That's a lot of sand. There's something in the sand. It's the probe. It's reached the storm. And what's he saying? It's not a storm. Oh, oh, it's a swarm. Yeah. If you see a panel opening in that shop, let me know. Nothing yet. Anything now? Oh. Afraid not. Face on the movement? She's going down there. How's that? Nothing. She's Same not result? looking. Not a dicky bird. Criminal mastermind. So let me get this right. It's the cup of Athelstan. It's given to the first king of Britain as a coronation gift from Howell, king of the Welsh. All right, so not. It's been held in the international gallery for two hundred years, which makes you, Lady Christina, a thief. I like that little blue box. I stole it from my own people. You stole the TARDIS. You are right. All right, we're going up really fast then. Get that security grid. Yeah. What is that crystal do? Oh, nothing. Don't need the crystal. Oh, I've risked my life for that. <laughs> no, no, if you risked your life for these. The yeah. You might as well take the crystal anyway, Master Thief. I need something uh, non-corrosive, something malleable. The some cup. Tile, something. Gold. Oh no, you don't. You gotta give it up. Go get the alien gem that you just- that he tossed out. Promise me you'll be careful. I promise. See how careful he is? I hate you. <laughs> oh, it's gonna fly! Oh my gosh! Oh, here we go! Ooh! Alright, they went through at least. Yay! Yeah, go tell them! Ooh! Alright, portal closed. They're stuck on that planet. Oh, well, pretty much. Now you still gotta deal with the other three that are here, though. Oh! Alright, one. Oh. Oh! Damn! Oh my gosh, I'm watching a flying bus fight a giant flying manta ray from space. Oh, I love this show. Oh. Ceasefire. Did I say I hated you? I was lying. Ooh. Damn. Yay. Do not stand forward at this point. Ah oh, man. Doctor's gonna get laid tonight. Your final destination. Thank you. Standing procedure, we need to screen you and then you'll all be taken to debrief. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. With me. Oh, shit. Doctor! 
You must be Malcolm. Oh, oh, oh I love you. <laughs> oh. I love you. <laughs> oh, right back at you, buddy. Oh. oh. I salute you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> he hates yeah, that. I take it, we're safe from those things. Right then, off we go. Come on, Doctor. Show me the stars. No. No. Damn. What? I said no. I gotta fucking I refuse you. People have traveled with me and I've lost them. Lost them all. Yeah. Never again. Because your song is ending, sir. Oh, shit. What do you mean? That's what the Ood said. It is returning through the dark. It's returning. And then, Doctor, he will knock four times. Oh shit! He will knock four times. Oh no, she's taking the bus! I'm charging you too, aiding and abetting. Yes. I'll just step inside this police box and arrest myself. <laughs> Out! Now! Does she know how to fly that thing? We could have been so good together. Christina! We were! <laughs> Man, I, I did kind of like her. I kind of wish she could stay, but... Oh, well. Where the hell is she going <laughs> in a flying bus? fun <laughs> uh, need to write one extra note quickly okay that was fun I'd say that one was a little bit better than uh, the next doctor even though I like that one this was I don't know maybe it was like more fun I don't know because the last one got kind of emotional, so, yeah. Ah, ha ha ha, my hands. Alrighty. Alright, let's just, let's just go over it. This was, this is definitely a fun one. And it's, ugh, oh, it's so nice to get back to Doctor Who. I will say, you know, I always say that after these, you know, these little breaks that we have, um, for classic Doctor Who... But I gotta say, this time around, I didn't feel like... It didn't feel like four weeks at all. So, yeah. It's kind of nice. Okay, so the first thing to write down... The first thing I wrote down was the portal, which was interesting. Um, yeah, so... And I guess you could sort of tie that into the swarm. So the portal is just that. Just a portal to, you know, this other world... But it wasn't supposed to be a portal that they were supposed to cross through, but a portal that the swarm was going to cross through to get to Earth. It just so happened that they fell through the portal as well. So, yeah, and man, it sucks that that the bus driver died. Like, oh, man. But that's so Doctor Who to just get, like, intensely dark for, like, five seconds and then, like, goes back to being lighthearted. So, yeah, that was definitely interesting. Um, the swarm were interesting. Like, just this is just what they do. This is what they, this is their you know biological reason for being. It's just in their nature, and that's a that's that's an interesting concept. You know, they're not this alien race that wants to you know go and just 
you know, destroy other life forms because it's fun or, you know, they crave war or, you know, they, um, or, yeah, I guess it's just they don't have a specific desire to do that. They just create this portal because this, it's just what they do. So, yeah, and that's why the Doctor really can't fault them for that. You know, he just sort of... Well, he doesn't accept it, but he just kind of he just kind of deals with it. So that's interesting. And I like too that you know, even though yes, he he because he's not you know going to destroy the entire race just because you know this is what they do. But he did say it's like oh I'm gonna make sure they you know every time pretty much every time they make a portal they're going to go to an uninhabited planet now so that they don't kill anyone else, which is good. Um, I wrote down Malcolm. Malcolm actually could be a fun companion. I couldn't... I don't think I would see him as a soul companion. But maybe, honestly, if it was him and Christina, that might be really interesting, actually, to have, like, the two of them, they'd probably play well off of each other and stuff like that. You know, so that'd be kind of cool. Overall, I really liked him. I like how... I mean, the Doctor is, you know... He's like a rock star to unit, which is very funny, actually. And so every time, you know, it's just like, it's him, it's the Doctor. And that was the same thing when they uh, went to Torchwood, Torchwood 1. You know, the Doctor was kind of a rock star there, too. Not as much, but, you know, he was definitely admired. But, so that's just interesting, you know, any time where it's like, you know, they're meeting the Doctor, this, you know, this Time Lord who used to actually work with Unit. So that's pretty cool. And like, you know, when the one guy, you know, gave um, the general, I guess, or captain, general, captain, I, I think it was actually captain, judging by these credits, um, you know, gave the captain the phone. It's like, it's the doctor. And she's just like, oh, hi. And it's like, doctor. And she salutes, despite the fact that, you know, it's a phone call. And he can tell, too. I love that he can tell. It's like, you saluted me, didn't you? It's like, yeah. Because he hates being saluted. Because, like, I... I don't know. It makes me, you know, more interested to see um, his time with Unit uh, during the Third Doctor's era. And, you know, you guys told me that uh, he worked with Unit during the Second Doctor's era, too. So... It does make me a bit more interested because it's like, just judging, you know, by the one episode I saw, and I've said this before, but judging by the one episode I saw, it's like, I can understand why he sort of has mixed feelings about Unit. And it definitely still shows through here, you know, he all he, he always says, like, he doesn't like, you know, all the guns that Unit has and stuff like that. And he hates being saluted and stuff like that because he doesn't really, I guess he doesn't, he doesn't see himself, you know, as this military, you know, figure. He's just, he's just the doctor. So, so yeah, and especially probably after the Time War, you know, he doesn't want to be involved in any sort of military organization again. And so Unit, he does have a bit of a, maybe a strenuous relationship with, but yeah. So all that stuff, the guns, you know, when they go through Kill on Sight and the saluting, like he has a problem with that, but he accepts, but he works with Unit because he needs to. But, and it's also interesting, yeah, just, they, they get starstruck, basically, when they meet the Doctor. Malcolm especially was starstruck. And I bet you, you know, I bet you that, you know, the Doctor was just a huge, you know, a legend. This legendary, maybe mythological figure to Malcolm or, or other Doctors there. Not saying that every Doctor, you know, or every scientist at UNID is like Malcolm, you know. Sort of maybe like over enthusiastic about meeting the doctor, but it's like I bet a lot of them were inspired by the doctor to do what they do. So yeah, um, I wrote down the Scorpion Nebula and San he Sanhilas, I think is what they said. I would assume they mean like I, I assume that's similar to like San Helios, like Helios that that word or San Helios. He said something. Interesting planet. I like that, you know... I like that because it's like, oh, well, we just went to a desert planet. And, you know, my initial instinct, like, oh my gosh. You know, especially when we saw the multiple stars in the sky. It's like, oh my gosh, we're on freaking Tatooine. 
But it wasn't just that, and it's like, okay, well, this used to be, you know, this big, you know, thriving civilization, and, you know, you see, even just, like, the globe that they showed, it's like, there was a lot of green in there, but that was from, you know, a year ago before the swarm came in, so... I like that. That's very interesting, you know, seeing what it used to be before it was basically destroyed. Oh, excuse me. Uh, wrote down the Tridevores. Uh, great concept for them. I kind of thought that they were going to be the villains because, you know, it kept cutting to the one guy I, who I assume was a Tridevore, um, you know, pointing at the screen and stuff like that. But it was just a misunderstanding, you know, they thought that the doctor and, you know, the people on the bus did this to them when in fact, you know, you know, they thought they did it, the Tridivores did it, and it's like, no, it's neither of us that ended up doing this. So, yeah. Whew, excuse me. I'm going to need another Pepsi then. Mm. Mm. Anyway. So, so yeah, interesting design and everything. I thought they were really cool. I like that they were actually the good guys. And, you know, honestly, it's one of those designs, it's kind of like the Ood, where it's like, this is such a distinct alien design. It's like, I would love if they brought these guys back every once in a while. Like, that would be cool. And now the Doctor has favor with some of them. Oh, shit, but they died. Well, nah. Well, you could still bring them back. So yeah, uh, Christina, interesting companion. I like, she, that's sort of the thing is that she really had all the makings of a great companion, but her, her life as, you know, this criminal really does, you know, take her out of being a full companion. Like, you, we can't have her. We can't actually have her because of this, so... I think she was very interesting, very likable and charming, and she would have made a great companion. Um, although I don't think that's just... I just don't think that's where we're going in these specials. Like, this, these are just specials, you know? This isn't a full season, so I doubt we're ever going to have... You know, it's going to be, you know, season five, basically, before we can have a uh, fully, you know, recurring companion for a while. But yeah... But Christina definitely, like, you know, she was she was very useful. And, you know, she took charge of the situations and deferred to the doctor when she needed her uh, his expertise. And it was very convenient. And it's like, okay, she has these tools in her backpack. And it's like, okay, well, that's very useful. You know, a companion that brings in these tools and stuff like that. But it's like, but why does she bring that in? And that is the stealing because she is a criminal and she steals all this crap. You know, she is a master thief, basically. And so, yeah, it does make sense why the Doctor wouldn't want her to come along. And and it's also interesting that he said, it's like, well, I mean, I kind of get it. It's like, I stole my TARDIS. And it's like, which is interesting because it's like, well, a Time Lord would be given a TARDIS, right? I assume... I guess I don't actually know that. You know, maybe you guys can say it in the comments uh, without spoilers. But yeah, that that that's an interesting idea that the Doctor actually stole the TARDIS. Makes me curious about how that works. Because I mean, he was the Time Lords definitely had they took certain issues with the Doctor, from what I can tell. Again, obviously, this is you know. This is based on a very limited knowledge of classic Doctor Who. But, yeah, it seems like, you know, he is a... He is an exception among the Time Lords. And I think they've even said in the past, like... Time Lords don't actually interfere with anything. I think they've said that. Or maybe one of you guys said that out in the comments. But, um, I believe I've heard that the Time Lords were a very hands-off, you know, group. Like, they didn't do anything... They didn't want to interfere with any timelines, but the Doctor is an exception to that. So, yeah. it's So, that's interesting. Maybe, you know, initially he had his TARDIS and they took it away and then he stole it. I don't know. I really don't know, you know, what the deal is with that. So, 
yeah, that's just an interesting concept, and it does, and even though he kind of, kind of understands that, he kind of understands Christina, you know, you know, stealing, he doesn't accept it, and he just outright refuses her. This is the first time that he has refused someone to become a companion, at least that I've seen. Although, to be fair, you know, he did refuse Adam, Adam Mitchell, back in series one. So, yeah, he did, you know, he took him along, but then once he screwed up and it was like, you know, once he, you know, royally screwed up, then the doctor was done with him and, you know, just left him behind. You could say it's sort of the same thing here. It's just that, you know, he realizes that she is a, you know, master thief and a criminal, so he just refuses. But he also said that he's, he seems to be done with companions, which is interesting. He seems to be just completely done. Like, he doesn't want... Because he keeps losing them, basically. Which is interesting. That's definitely an interesting idea, but he can't be done with companions forever. So it'll be interesting to see, like, how, like, what will change his mind, basically, and allow him to take on a new companion fully. So we'll see. And then the last two things I wrote down go together. First is the song ending, which we heard that back in... A planet of the Ood. Um, interesting that, you know, Planet of the is, you know, those episodes is where they bring up this song that has to end. So, but yeah, the song that has to end obviously is referring to the Doctor fully regenerating and not just the, um, not just the, the half-assed regeneration. I don't know how to put it. The quasi-regeneration he went through. Uh, and journey's end so yeah the story has to end eventually he does have to regenerate and so yeah that's that's interesting that they brought that up again it's like hey guys we really mean it this time he's gonna regenerate soon you know last time that was you know just foreshadowing it's like yeah it's sometime soon he's gonna regenerate might be at the end of the season might not be though it's like here it's like something's gonna happen man the song ends soon and they also said, you know, he is coming back from the darkness. Something like that. It's like, it's like, what's coming back from the darkness? Is it Davro? Is it Davros? He was sort of the darkness, but it's like, well, I doubt that's it. It's like, I don't think they would bring him back so soon after, you know, we had him. But they also said, she also said, it's like, he will knock four times. And it took me a second to think about it, but yeah, it's like, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know if that messes up with the microphone or not, but yeah, um, the four knocks. The four knocks of the master? Is that it? That would be interesting, bringing the master back. I was literally about to say, well, he's dead, though. And it's like, dude dies all the fucking time, apparently, though. I mean, last week I just watched, you know, last week I watched the Doctor Who movie where they said it's like, well, the Master used all 13 of his regenerations. Still don't understand that. But it's like, he used all 13 of his regenerations and he was dead. It's like, bullshit, he's dead. It's like, he came back as some snake and possessed Eric Roberts. And it's like, so yeah, it's like, so, and plus it's like, you know, then, you know, they also said it's like, well, he was dead during the Time War, but the Time Lords brought him back, so it's like, I'm sure there's a way to bring him back again, but would it be the Master? I don't know. I don't know if it would be the Master. Maybe? We'll see. I mean, there may, there may, I don't even know, because, I mean, we have, what is it, we have three specials left, so we could have... We could have a villain like we normally do in a season, but I don't know, man. I don't know where we're going in these specials, honestly. This is I didn't think we were going here. So, yeah. Um, that's basically that. Happy Easter, everyone. I have no idea. So, yeah. With that being said, I'm Alex from Seventh Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Doctor Who reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.